Divine Appeal of Christ the King With his Father and the Holy Spirit, the Divine King appeals to his children on earth to come now and enter into the kingdom of his will. I come into your midst with my heart all drowned in flames of love. I come as a father to be among my children because I love you so very much. My love is so great that I come to remain with you so that we may live together with one single will, with one single love. As I come to you, I bring with me my pains, my blood, my works, and even my very death. Look at me. Each drop of my blood, each of my pains and steps, and all the things I did compete with one another because they want to give you my divine will. Even my death wants to give rebirth to the life of my will in you. I have prepared everything for you in my humanity, and I have prayed for and obtained graces, helps, light, and strength for you to receive the gift so great. On my part, I have done everything. So now I am waiting for you to do your part. Who would be so ungrateful as to turn me away and not welcome the gift I am bringing to you? Know that my love is so great that I will forget about your past life, your sins, all your evils, and I will bury them in the ocean of my love to burn them all away. And then we will begin a new life together, all of my will. Who would have the heart to refuse me and send me away without accepting my visit, which is so full of a father's love. But if you will welcome me, I will remain with you as a father in the midst of his children. Then we must be in the greatest accord and live together with one will alone. Oh, how much I long for this, how I moan, how I cry, even going into delirium and weeping because I want my dearest children to gather around me and live with my very own will. It has been almost 6,000 years, and my humanity has sighed so much and shed so many bitter tears because I want my children to come back and live together with me. I want them around me to make them holy and happy again. I weep and weep as I call to them, to come back to me. Who would not be moved to compassion over my tears and my love, which goes so far as to suffocate me, even choking me? Among sighs and agonies of love, I go about repeating, My children, where are you? Why don't you come back to your father? Why do you go away from me? Why do you want to wonder about poor and full of so many miseries? Your misfortunes are wounds to my heart, and I am weary of waiting for you. And since you do not come back to me, I come in search of you because I can no longer contain the love that consumes me, and I am bringing you the great gift of my will. Oh, I beg you, I plead with you, be moved to compassion for my so many tears and ardent sighs. I come to you not only as a father, but also as a teacher among his disciples. I want you to listen to me because I will be teaching you surprising things, lessons of heaven, which will carry with them a light that will never go out and a blazing love which endures forever. My lessons will give you a divine strength and invincible courage a holiness which keeps growing more and more. These lessons will light the way for your steps and will guide you along the way to your heavenly fatherland. I come as a king to live among his people, but not for the purpose of levying taxes and heaping burdens upon you. No, no. I come because I want your will, your miseries, your weaknesses, all your evils. My sovereignty is really this. 
I want everything that distresses you and causes you to be unhappy and restless so that I can hide it within my love and burn it all away. As the beneficent, pacific, and magnanimous king that I am, I want to exchange my will for yours, filling you with my most tender love, with my riches and happiness, with my peace and most pure joy. If you will give me your will, all will be done just as I have said, and you will make me happy, and you will be happy too. I long for nothing else than for my will to reign among you. Heaven and earth will be smiling at you. My heavenly mama will be sure to be a mother and queen to you. She knows the great good that the kingdom of my will will bring to you. And in order to satisfy my ardent desires and to stop my weeping, and because she loves you as her true children, She is traveling amongst the people of the nations, disposing and preparing them to receive the dominion of the kingdom of my will. It was she who prepared the people for me so that I could descend from heaven to earth. And now I am entrusting to her and to her maternal love the task of disposing the souls of our people to receive a gift so great. So please listen to me, and I beg you, my children, to read very attentively these pages that I am placing before you. If you will do this, you will feel the need to live in my will, and I will be standing right beside you when you read, touching your mind and heart so that you will understand what you read and truly want, the gift of my divine fiat.